welcome back to another video if you are new to this channel welcome make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell so then you're always notified when your girl uploads so today i will be doing a 10 minute makeup look now i know you might be like is that even possible 10 minutes it's very much possible and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i do it i've done it a lot of times okay so first thing is first is always the brows y'all already know <laughs> brows always come first for me so i'm gonna grab this benefit brow pencil in the shade number four this brow pencil has become one of my favorites because it's so creamy and it's so easy to actually put on the brows and you guys know how i feel about brow pencils that are actually creamy and easy to glide onto my brows because honey I don't have thick brows, I have thin ones, so if I have a brow pencil that does not get the job done, it eats my soul, literally. So I'm going to just clean this up. This is not in the 10 minutes, okay? So don't do this. Make sure your brows are cleaned up. I haven't got my brows done in a minute, so i got to make sure we get that. Get this out the way. Oof, that hurt. Now when it comes to my 10 minute makeup, I usually just do my regular routine for my brows. Um, only because my brows are the most important thing. I literally could just do brows and be out the door and be perfectly fine, okay? So I have to make sure my brows look on point and still on fleek. And remember, you have 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to get ready. Now this video is not going to be 10 minutes long because I'm chatting with you guys and you guys are getting ready with me. But if it was just me, myself, and I, it will probably be 10 minutes or less. I don't even go past 10 minutes because how quick I actually do my makeup. So we're just going to brush my brows up. Now, one thing I like about this brow pencil is because it lets me fill in my brows. Now, some brow pencils are very, uh, they're not as creamy as this, so I usually go in with my powder. Now, I like this one because I don't have to go in with my powder to fill in all the missing spots. This one just kind of fills it in for me, too. I'm going to take the spoolie side and just, like, brush that a little bit, make it look good. Just fill it in a little bit more like so and look at that brow no brow brow no brow so i'm gonna do this side So I also added some concealer underneath my brows just to clean up my brows and make them look decent. Bro, I have not gotten my brows done in so long. I feel like I want to go get them done, but every time I go get them done, the person who doesn't take takes a lot of my eyebrows. Did I say eyebrows or eyelashes? I hope I said brows. I don't even remember, y'all. It's been a long day. My day's still going. <laughs> okay, so... The fact that this is a 10 minute look and I still want it to look natural, y'all already know I have to look dewy too. I'm going to go ahead and grab my OPV Rose Gold Oil and this is their Radiant, uh, I think it's their Radiant, Natural Radiant Nutritioning Face Oil. That's true. This thing is amazing. It smells so good. I've been loving it, but I'm just going to put like a little bit. I mean, that's even a lot because just to like really make my skin looks like look like I'm glowing underneath and then this will work as like my moisturizer and my primer um, oh my god oh it smells so good you guys so I'm just gonna work this all over my face like so now my favorite part I'm not gonna use no foundation in this 10 minute look it's gonna be a no foundation look um, so I'm going to go ahead and conceal and I'm going to grab my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Amanda, hopefully I said that right. This is perfect because it's still full coverage and it's able to cover my dark circles and that's the only thing I technically care for when it comes to my 10 minute looks. I want to just cover this and I'm fine. So I'm just going to like just go like this on my dark circles. And to even up my skin too, I'm going to take the same thing and just dot here. Because I do have darkness around my lip area. Mm. Cover some spots. I'm just going to like cover some areas. Um, just the spots that I feel like need to be like a little bit covered because, yeah. Um, and this will pretty much work as my foundation 
And I'm just going to use my hands because I'm telling you, your hands are very powerful. Little do you know. And just like cover everything that needs to be covered. Yo, look at that. This is why I like this concealer. Like, look at that. So creamy and covers my dark circles so well. I love that. Let's blend that all in. And the oil with the concealer just like helps it glides on so good. Oh my god. This might even look like a full coverage look. But it's 10 minutes. So if it was 10 minutes right now, I'll be like moving a lot faster. Trust me. <laughs> now that one right here on the forehead is going to act like the whole entire forehead actually. I'm going to just put this in this area too. Just dab it. Always use your ring finger. Your ring finger is like the best one. Because it's like very lightweight. On your eyeballs and underneath your eyes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my beauty blender just to blend out everywhere. Make sure everything is all together. My beauty blender is always damped. Um, the last video I did a tutorial, you guys, one of you guys commented because I used the Morphe beauty blender and I was like, that thing is so stiff. And one of you guys told me to get it wet. Uh, but you know, sis, I always got my beauty blenders wet. I still don't like that. I still am salty about that beauty blender. Because I feel like it is not the best beauty blender ever. I think after you use beauty blender, uh, you're going to actually love it so much that when you use it like a hard beauty blender, you're going to be like, what in the world is this? Now because this is supposed to be very quick, 10 minutes, and still want it to look very natural, I am going to set underneath my eyes because I don't want no crease. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of setting powder, which that's kind of a lot. I'm going to take my Morphe G26 brush, dab this on here, tap off the excess, and just lightly just like tap this on top of the eye, lightly. I'm not putting much pressure, I'm lightly and I'm also moving fast uh, because we don't got time to sit here and waste. But we still gotta set underneath my eyes, you know. So now I'm gonna grab my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Setting Powder and I'm just going to grab a little bit and just like lightly like go all over the face with this lightly. We don't want too much, we just want a light handed. We don't want to go heavy handed too much, okay? Look at that. We look like skin. I mean, like, sis, this looks like being a numb, -num. like for real. So now I'm gonna grab my MAC Naturally Enhanced Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, uh, yeah, it's a lot of word, but it looks like this. I'm not sure if they still sell this or it's discontinued, but if they do, I would highly, highly recommend you guys to get your hands on this because it is like two in one, bronzer and blush. Now I use the top to bronze up my face and then I use the bottom to like give myself a blush. Uh, so that's why I love this product so much. And it does have a little bit, a little bit of shimmer in it. Not so, so much, like you hardly can see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this sh on top. Look at that. I'm going to grab the blush, the bronzer side with my brush. And I'm not gonna go heavy handed with that either. And I'm just going to like, and brush out my face with this because I'm not cream contouring at all I'm just like bronzing up my face so now I'm going to take the blush area this is not the perfect brush for this but it will do all of my brushes are like freaking dirty so I'm like oh my god really the day that I'm actually recording is the day my brushes are all dirty Okay, take a little bit around your face. So I'm gonna grab my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Setting Powder. And I'm gonna just like dab this on my, on my eyeballs. Just to like add a little bit of like eyeshadow look. But really it's not eyeshadow. I wanna fool people out here, you know what I'm saying? I wanna fool. I'm telling you, this look will be so perfect for the ladies out here who are always on the go but want to look put together. I feel like this is so for you, but you don't gotta do this part. You can definitely skip this part, but I always have to. I feel like my eyes look so naked if I don't put like at least something under. 
I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my water lash line too. Like so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight next. Now this part is very optional, but I want to highlight because I still want to look a little bit so then I give myself a little bit of glow. So the best highlighter that I have for that is this Morphe uh, High Impact Highlighter. Now this highlighter has one, been one of my favorites because it's so pretty on me. Um, it's insane. So what I'm going to do is just grab a little bit. I didn't go heavy handed with this at all because I don't want it to overpower too much. And I'm just going to grab my beauty blender, my damped beauty blender, and just blend that really into my skin. Like so. You see that? It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking pretty. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Heavy head, honey. Well, a little heavy hand. Get my nose, catch my nose, catch me news. How about that? And I'm gonna just like take it on my forehead too, so I can give that highlight a look. And then on my chin, just a tiny bit on my chin, not too much. So that is it for the face. I can't believe I'm actually done with the face. That's crazy. So this is optional. I'm gonna grab my mascara. You don't have to wear mascara if you don't wear mascara, but if you don't wear falsies and want to bring your lashes to life, use some mascara. Now, I have really short, curly lashes, sadly. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to like grab this mascara, and this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I'm just going to like bring my lashes to Jesus, okay? And I'm also going to pop falsies on. Now, that is very optional. You don't have to do that because some people are not really good at popping lashes on um so yeah i'm pretty quick at it nowadays so i can just like pop it on real quick and be out the door i'm not gonna do my bottom lashes because um this look is very natural we we're not trying to do that okay so i'm gonna not do that now normally i usually do that that's a step that i never miss but today is a different day clearly clearly okay so i'm going to pop my lashes now what i'm gonna do is grab my I'm gonna grab my dual lash glue. I'm definitely not putting mascara at the bottom. I'm gonna just leave them as this because it just makes the look look more natural, realistic. Wow. We are so close to being done. Now for the lips, some people might go for like a lip gloss, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for some color, okay? So I'm gonna grab my Kylie Cosmetics lip pencil in True Brown K. It's the perfect dark brown. I can't find my uh, MAC chestnut. Okay, so I'm going to grab my uh, lipstick in MAC, and this is in Honey Love. It's like a really pretty, I've used it a couple times. It's like a pink nude. It's so pretty. I just pop that in the middle. Mm. Blend that with my finger. Okay, last but not least, I am going to add a gloss. I'm going to grab this lip gloss by slay by she and it's just a clear gloss i've been loving this lip gloss because it's so small and it's so little it's like a little perfect little gloss i put that on top of our lips wow we look like we have a like i don't even know i look different i feel like this is such a cute no makeup makeup look like this is uh, might as well be a no makeup makeup look okay, so i'm gonna grab my morphe setting spray and i'm just gonna spray this all over my face because it is a mist oh yes honey oh my gosh this looks so pretty uh mm. 
So I'm going to straighten my hair, change into something a little bit more cuter, and I'll be right back. So this is it for this look, but I did forget one more thing. I don't know how I would forget this. Let me grab a brush for it. I definitely forgot to highlight my inner corner of my eye. I never forget that. Okay, that's a no-no for me, but this just like makes the look pop a little bit more. Makes me look so much awake. Okay, I'm gonna pop I'm gonna pop my hat on because I think this this look will look a little a little cuter with the hat. I'm gonna pop my glasses because why not? <laughs> ha 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 Ooh uh, you guys are gonna see the shadow of the glasses, right? You guys are definitely seeing that that little ring light, but y'all mm, let me let me hit y'all with my slow motion real quick. Ten minutes, but we look so cute. We can walk out, go to brunch, go to a meeting, go to whatever, and we look put together. We look like I'm just looking so cute. That's all I gotta say because it seems like I have more makeup on my face than I actually do which is crazy how the NARS concealer can cover up your problems so this is it my loves for my 10 minute makeup I hope you guys enjoyed it it was very quick simple straight to the point no I couldn't my little mingi you already know how it is there's no eh eh none of that okay so yes very very soft I love the beads it looks very skin like it just looks very pretty and it only took me 10 minutes to do this Technically, it could have taken me 10 minutes if I wasn't speaking to you guys today. But as usual, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much for all your support. I love y'all. Now, I'm Pena Sana, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye.